Jamerson calling to talk to you about the camera training. Oh, yes. How you doing? I am doing great. I was hoping you could tell me how you found Ken and how you found the program and tell me everything about it. Well, I just was on the computer one day and I ran across it. I read a little bit about it and it seemed like they had a real easy course that a person could understand. What were you looking for at the time? Anything about photography. And you look up all kind of stuff about photography stuff and he came up on there. Uh-huh. I just read about it and I thought it sounded real interesting. And so I decided I would buy the course. What kind of camera do you have? I have two cameras, a Canon 7D and a Canon 430. Tell me about the course, you know, what you tried, what you discovered. Tell me all about it. I know you said it sounded easy. The kind of way you put it together, I can learn more if I can see something, how they do something, mm -hmm. instead of just reading about it all the time. The way he got it set up, he goes through everything. He shows you how to do exposures, how to do the devil field. He shows me how to use your flash. Mm -hmm. And it was just real easy the way he explained it. He goes through everything. It's just like if you was there, like a photography workshop. That's what I like about it. And he showed us you know, about how to do the panning, how to pan and, and make stuff seem like it's moving. When I got through with the course, I could do that. How to photograph water drops, which is real easy the way he explains it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Right. I get that how to get the exposure correct on anything. And just focusing, my camera, it has several focusing points. And he showed you know, how to use your focusing points. The way he explained it, he mostly used center focusing point, and then he recompose. I do that sometimes, but most of the time, that's the, I try to use the focusing point. If I'm taking a picture of something and I want it in, say, the left third, I'll use the focusing point on the left side. And then I don't have to move my camera at all. Because sometimes with the recomposing, you can kind of get off of your focusing a little bit. But if you got to focus something real fast, the center point is the best way to do it. It was just so much, I just really enjoyed the course. You know, I've tried other courses, but it seemed like he explained it more, and he, it was hands-on. It was like I was in a workshop. That's awesome. Have you told anybody else about this course? I've told two or three people about it. You know, I don't have a lot of friends who's in photography. They've been to other things. His course would be the best course as far as I'm concerned. What did you tell them about it when you did tell a couple people? Oh, I just told them that it was an easy course, and if they wanted to learn how to use their camera, that would be the one that I would recommend. They would say, well, I'll think about it. And I've never had anyone to call me back yet and say, well, I took the course or anything like that. Have you taken any pictures since then that you're particularly proud of? Yes, I sent some to him. Water drop pictures, the motion pictures, and some close-ups. That, that was another deal that he talked about was how to take our close-ups. I took some close-ups. I sent some to him. Oh, that is wonderful. So I'm wondering, Bobby, could we use your feedback as a testimonial for his site? Oh, yeah, you can. That'd be fine. And the pictures you sent him he could use? Yes. That would be awesome. And you were saying something before about panning, and then you said something, for whatever reason, the volume went out. What were you saying about that? He explained how to use the focusing points and how to shoot in manual. I learned that because I'm mostly shooting like mostly an automatic and program. Mm -hmm. After using his course, I can shoot in, in manual, plus I can shoot in the uh, aperture mode and the shutter mode. Mm -hmm. And you can get more creative using the manual aperture mode or the shutter. Like when you're taking some pictures and you want it to show action, you would use your shutter speed. It's going to show more action. Uh, if you was want to take a portrait, you would want the background to be blurred out. You wouldn't want all the tree limbs or anything else you got in the background. You want your portrait to stand out. He taught that about the aperture, you know, to use the aperture, which would make your picture more creative. When you take pictures, you do it for fun. What is the purpose of your photography? I do it a lot for fun, but I just like to be able to take real good pictures. I don't want them to look like everybody else's pictures. When I first started, I would just take a picture anywhere. And it didn't make no difference what kind of background it had, if it had trash in the background, or wheelbars, or dogs running, or whatever. I just threw it in the shot. But the way I do now, I'm more concerned about how the pictures are going to look. I don't want anything in the background. and I just want to take a real good picture. What do you do with them? I have pictures on my wall, and I'm not a professional or anything like that. 
when I take a picture, I want it to look good. I don't want a picture that the person can't tell what I'm taking a picture of. If I take a picture, and you look at one of my pictures, I want you to say, well, you're taking a picture of your mother or your father. I don't want you to say, well, what are you taking a picture of? Are you taking a picture of the wheelbar here or the dog or the car on the street or what? I, I want you to know what I'm taking a picture of. Got it. Excellent.